Dr. Oz is running for office. In fact, he is a Senate candidate in Pennsylvania. And during a recent interview with Fox News, he was a little flustered when he was asked about his thoughts in regard to reproductive rights. Let's watch. What about, what is your position as both a doctor and a senatorial candidate on when life begins? When should we draw the line when abortion is, is legal? As a doctor, I appreciate the sanctity of life. And for that reason, I'm strongly pro-life. With the three exceptions I've mentioned, that's how I would vote. And when does that life begin? You know, again, if I'm pro-life, then it's a decision that comes back to the sanctity of when you think life does begin. And I believe it begins when you're in the mother's womb. When you're in the mother's womb, but that, that carries you all the way up to nine months of pregnancy. No, of course not. Life's already started when you're in your mother's womb. But it's a rat hole to get trapped in the different ways of talking about it. We need as a nation to make sure the Constitution is appropriately followed. And people like me, and you may be in the same camp, who are pro-life, have our feelings respected. And this is something that should not be taken away from us by judiciary legislating from the bench. Yeah, but that's also something that's gonna have to be legislated. And that answer is gonna have to be given specifically. Mm, fumbling and bumbling, I learned nothing. If I knew nothing about Dr. Oz, I would have really no idea like where he stands on the issue. Because the fact of the matter is he's got a long track record in being in favor of a woman's right to choose. But now all of a sudden he's a candidate in Pennsylvania for a Senate seat. And he's on this Fox News interview and he can't he can't say that he believes in a woman's right to choose. So he's got to try to push this anti-abortion rhetoric, anti-choice rhetoric essentially, but doesn't really know how to do the maneuver necessary to get away with it. Uh, if I didn't know anything about Dr. Oz, I, I would think he was a culinary expert uh, with that wonderful word salad <laughs> that he just created there. Mixing up that word salad, well, the womb, it's you know one year in the womb. The womb is from fertilization to birth, so right. that gives us no answer at all. You didn't know that you were gonna get asked this question when you're running as a Republican for a Senate seat. Mm -hmm. And you could tell that the prep they did was very poor because I, th I think the word rat hole probably comes from the prep session, right? That's not a thing you say on air, like, oh, we don't wanna go down this rat hole. <laughs> like probably in his prep sessions, they were like, oh, don't try to avoid that topic because it's a rat hole, okay? Right. And he wound up repeating that on air. When that is not how you're supposed to talk about the sanctity of the life at conception, etc. No, I think he nailed it. I think he did a great oh, job. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. brilliant. And um, and so why is he trying to avoid the actual answer? Because if he says the right wing position, which is life begins at conception, well, the three exceptions he talked about is very likely the life of the uh, mother uh, and rape and incest, mm -hmm. right? Well, then the Fox News host is gonna turn around and go, well, if you think life starts at conception, who cares about rape? We have to protect the life anyway, right? So he's stuck and he doesn't wanna be stuck and he doesn't actually have any principles around that issue at all. It's super obvious. He's just trying to find a way to maneuver so he can win the primary and then turn around and win the general election because in order to win a primary in a a Republican primary, you have to be a lunatic to win it. Oh, Trump's awesome, screw democracy, I hate it. Uh, oh yeah, women just use their bodies as chattel, who cares about them? But in Pennsylvania, it's a blue to purple state. You're gonna have to win the general election and that kind of radical talk is not gonna help you, hence the word salad. Yes, now it's, it's really hard to tell what he genuinely believes because clearly he's just going in whatever direction he feels would be beneficial for his you know, political future, his career, seems like that's the only thing he cares about. But we should take a look at his previous statements in regard to reproductive rights. Uh, he was a little clearer then. So I take you to uh, his statements from two years back. Here's what he had to say. It's as a doctor, just putting my doctor hat on, it's a big time concern because I went to medical school in Philadelphia and I saw women who had coat hanger events and I mean really traumatic events that happened when they were younger before Roe v. Wade and many of them were harmed for life. So he's talking about the negative ramifications of doing away with reproductive rights and a woman's right to choose. He has seen it firsthand as a doctor and how awful it is when a woman is so desperate 
that she resorts to a coat hanger to do an abortion on herself. Women died as a result of that. He knows that. But he's so concerned with his own political career that he's willing to just honestly like betray everything that he used to say, everything that he allegedly believed in pursuit of his political career. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And honestly, look, I'm being maybe I'm being a little too tough on Dr. Oz. But this is the problem with politics in America. You have all of these narcissistic, self-interested clowns running not because they want to represent the best interest of a goddamn person, but themselves. That's it. It's all about themselves over and over again. It's not just about Dr. Oz, it's about all these politicians that we currently have in Congress and politicians, you know, aspiring politicians who are going to run these campaigns. Here's another statement. Just being logical about it, if you think that the moment of conception you've got a life, then why would you even wait six weeks, right? Then an in vitro fertilized egg is still a life. There's so much we got to do already to take care of each other. To start picking fights on this, I always wonder about it. It happens periodically. There are these moral issues that almost on purpose are inflamed. He said that on the Breakfast Club radio show. Okay, yeah, so he's full of crap. He was pro-choice, he's now pretending to be pro-life. And fame is a hell of a drug. He's got so much money, so much fame, so much power. Why? Why do you have to debase yourself to do this? You know, look, now he's in the party of Trump and seems to be supporting Trump. Trump back in 2016 when he was running for office said there should be a ban on Muslims entering the country. A total and complete shutdown. Dr. Oz is Muslim, he's Turkish. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll betray my own, who cares? Fame, fame precious. It's disgusting. Look, I've told you this before for those who watch regularly. Dr. Oz is actually an amazing surgeon. He's one of the best heart surgeons in the country. And he actually did heart surgery on my uncle. And so I feel terrible saying this, but we were all so proud of him when he was a heart surgeon. Then he goes on TV and becomes Gollum. And, and now he's chased doing anti-vaccine stuff, humiliating himself and anyone who believed in him. And so it's just, it's just uncomfortable to look at. And by the way, there's one other random note here. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but Dr. Oz apparently doesn't live in Pennsylvania. And you gotta be at least in the same state, right? And so I don't know if he got past that and somehow, but that was a controversy around this race. But I thought, why run in Pennsylvania? How weird, right? Fethullah Gulen, uh, the Turkish Muslim fundamentalist, um, also lives in Pennsylvania. Damn, Jenk, you always drop in that Turkish knowledge. I love it. No, tell us more. That's so. That's the guy that uh, Erdogan thinks did the coup against him, uh, organized the coup in Turkey. Now that was a bunch of years back. America will not turn Gulen over uh, to Erdogan. Uh, some have speculated about whether he's a government asset for America, right? And so I thought it was curious that of all the states, Oz, Dr. Oz was like, and er, Dr. Oz is a supporter of Erdogan. Oh, okay. Oh, so geez, now he's Ross. going to try to become a senator from Pennsylvania. Is Dr. Oz a supporter of anything really? Other than Dr. Oz? Well, Erdogan's in power in Turkey, yeah. hence he's a supporter of Erdogan. Mm. Does he actually believe that? Who knows? Who but knows? Fame, it's a hell of a drug. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.